Hi everyone, welcome back to Churchill Fitness. Today we're going to do a 200 rep ab challenge. Starting with sit-ups, single leg V-ups, and plank pulse to pike. So a sit-up, everyone knows what a sit-up is. It's where you go from all the way behind to all the way forward. You can do it with your arms crossed where your elbows touch your knees or with your arms behind your ears. Next is a single leg V-up. Single leg V-up is similar to a regular V-up, but instead of bringing both legs and both arms up, you bring opposite leg to the opposite arm. Don't let your feet touch the ground if you can help it. And then the last thing is a plank pulse to pike. Plank pulse is simply where you move forward onto your toes. And then you go up to a pike. First we have advanced mountain climbers where instead of just moving your knee to the opposite elbow on both sides, you move the knee to the opposite elbow, knee to the same, and the knee to the outside. And that's one rep. So we're going to get 20 total, not 20 each side, 20 total. Next we have hollow outs, which is where you have your arms up above your head, your legs out straight, and you use your abs to rock yourself forwards and backwards. If you need a little bit of a modification, you can bend your knees and it makes it a lot easier. Then the last thing we have is bicycles with an extension. So regular bicycles are where you twist and bring your knee up to your upset elbow. But with a bicycle extension, you're gonna twist, extend your leg up, put it back down, switch, switch, that's those. Next we have advanced penguins, V-ups, and alternating leg raise to reverse crunch. So the first one, advanced penguins. We know regular penguins is where you have your feet on your, the ground with your knees bent and you just tap your uh, fingers to your shoes or to your ankles or to your calves, wherever. But with advanced, you bring your legs out and you let them hover and you go about to your knee area. I have really long arms though. So if you go about to the, um, oh my gosh, I totally forgot what it's called. If you go about to the thigh, that is perfectly fine. Next we have V-ups, which is where you have your arms above your head and your legs above your head and you just go up and you tap your toes. And then we have a alternating leg lunge to a reverse crunch, which is where you have your hands on your butt or above your head, and you bring your legs up while letting the other one hover, and then you bring your leg in, knee to chest, in, knee to chest. So one rep is one, one, two, two. The last thing we have is rotating toe touches. Now regular toe touches are where you have your legs up straight in front of you, and you just touch your fingers to whatever part is comfortable for you, whether it's your toes, whether it's the top of your foot, whether it's your ankles or your shins. But then with an alternate being or rotating toe touch, you bring your arms first to the outside of one side, to the middle, to the outside of the other side, back to the middle. And the reps go one, one, two, two. So one rep, is going up to the side, then up to the middle. 